If you've seen our video on quick two minute dry train cleanup on the upper right hand corner, we have some tips, some substitutions that you may want to make to make this job both better and quicker. Let's take a look. For cleaning the dry train, we use an old hand towel. It's a little bit rougher surface and gets into the grooves of the chain and drivetrain a whole lot better. You can also wash this periodically, throw in a little bleach, make sure you don't throw it in with any other clothes, but it washes pretty well and you can keep reusing this over and over again for quite some time. It's a very tiny amount of turpentine on the cloth. Use that to wipe off the superficial grease of the chain. Now using a clean portion, wipe it down thoroughly. By the time we finish that, turpentine will have evaporated. We're not using degreaser because degreaser will interfere with any lubricant that we add. Go ahead and wipe the large chain ring. Shift to the large chain ring and wipe the small chain ring. And then this cloth is ideal for getting the inside of the small chain ring. Use a soft wire brush that will help you get between the links or you can use an old paintbrush which will get nicely down between the links. Don't forget to wipe the pulley wheels. In our previous video we suggested to clean the cassette, place the chain in the large chain ring and then go ahead and use your cloth or in this case the hand towel and go ahead and floss in between the chain rings. Another way to do it would be to use our particular stiff paintbrush which will get down deep between the various links. Or we can use a pipe cleaner. Don't use the small pipe cleaners, they'll just jump all over. Here we have a 12 millimeter pipe cleaner we got off of Amazon listed in our description. And we pedal forward and we repeat this with the other cogs. And as we continue, cars get nice and clean, dirt comes off on the pipe cleaner. And the pipe cleaner we can actually use two or three times depending on how dirty the cassette is. Finally, go ahead and lubricate your chain. I usually start at the master link and go all the way around. I'll come back to the master link again. Then continue to work the lubricant into the chain by the pins and next to the links. And as my final step, I usually let the lubricant sit overnight so the solvent evaporates leaving any particles of lubricant such as Teflon or otherwise behind and then go ahead and wipe off the excess before my next ride. Between our previous video on quick two minute dry train cleanup and this video, pick out those portions that work best for you and you'll find with a little bit of practice you can clean that drivetrain in well under two minutes. I usually clean the drivetrain oh every 150 miles or so and for you maybe a little bit less, a little bit longer except in those conditions where we get a lot of muck, rain, etc which I'll do a full cleaning including degreasing, washing and drying. If you have any other comments, suggestions, please comment below. Please subscribe to keep up with our latest videos. This is Tony of Tony 10 Speed. Safe cycling.